this beer is making me feel very sick. It's, I, I don't really do ale very well. It's kind of a hot and humid day lately. Um, not making me feel great. Well, at least I know that this beer is not really clean. Next time I try something like this. Yeah, no display. I got a creepy ass email from my bank recently. My bank is like an international card, international bank card, because I work abroad. Wait, what? Which do you choose? A normal life. Fulfill the promise. Are we ever going to see Dr. Shoes ending? Because this is cool. Let's fulfill the promise. What? Is there anything you desire? I can grant whatever you wish. Tell me. Strange Bird once said that. Who is that bird talking to? It's better be recording. Yeah, it's recording. This is already like... This is all normal. So I'll try and go for shoes ending if it lets me. Oh yeah, it's a geki. Because it's not changed. This is all the intro. This, yeah, like the intro, look, there's Yuya. Oh, hey guys, Yuya. Yeah, I got a creepy ass email from my thing where they sent in the thing with my formal name saying, oh, da da da, you must read this email. And when you get a message from your bank saying, please read this email, you must read this email, you're like, shit, I've done, I'm, I'm in trouble. I've got tax evasion records or somebody thinks I'm laundering. Holy fucking shit, because I work abroad, right? And, like, I don't put enough savings across that it's, like, enough to be taxed. But they might start to fathom, hey, he's probably earning more than that overseas and try and tax me again, even though only Americans actually have to get taxed in America and in the country they earn the money in. Everyone else, it's, like, it's the earnings you earn there and your general income in that country on that in, on that soil trust me i've read a lot about this shit uh, um <clears throat> probably not enough and uh so this is shoot look shoot we need to catch him i i memorized it so, so. Oh, yeah, and uh, I was like, oh my god, and it was literally just the usual thing of, we over this period of time during the COVID when everyone's desperate, there's been a lot of phishing scams, so please be careful, and you're like, don't scare me like that. <laughs> like, important, important, something really bad's happened, we've lost all your money, and you're like, oh my god, oh, you're going to get fucking arrested for tax evasion. How am I getting arrested? I don't have enough money. <laughs> like, you know, I haven't evaded tax because I don't earn enough to even be paying tax. And you're like, oh my god, I'm going to die. And then it's like, you read it. Yeah, this is... Okay, um, infirmary. And yeah, you're just sat there like... So I said I have to do math. I have to do math. And yeah, talk about a heart attack. You receive anything from your bank that seems like they're using important language, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> like, you know, I've done something horribly wrong. And then it turned out it was nothing. Thank God. Thanks, Satan. I don't think God has anything to do with this, but, you know.
Touch the doctor's personal area, okay. I want to look at your drugs. I'm a good boy. We will meet in the desk, as the internet tells me I must. There's a lot of like, even if you do all of the endings, I notice that you miss, you repeat a lot of stuff, but you miss a lot of hidden stuff. Remember that one time we saw them have a swimming competition and that never came up ever again. And like the feathers in the classroom only appear occasionally and it doesn't come up very often. You know, it's just very like, Okay, so pull the Kazawak. We took a nap. Forget so easily. Yeah, like uh, ale. Let's let's, let's talk about it. <laughs> so uh, I'm not really a big fan of ales anymore, and I know a lot of my friends who are more craft beer aware and shit. Uh, I, I like light stuff. I can deal with IPAs, but mostly I'm a lager fan, not a mainstream lager fan and I drink vice beer and like cheapish Mexican beers like Dosiki and um Sol and Corona Extra and stuff like this. Oh yeah this uh we have to do the infirmary tent I believe. Although actually my brain fell out for checking that one. I'm going to go ahead and see. Shit. <laughs> We've seen it. So yeah, like I used to drink heavy ale, but now I can't stand the taste very much. I tend to go for like lagers and like light beers. Uh, not like Bud Light or Coors Light, where it's like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> you know, it's like... A little more like, uh, you can still get some really nice craft vice beers and craft lagers that are really good, especially a lot of German stuff. And uh, obviously the vice beer is really good. Um, I just, yeah, my taste changed after a while when it came to beer. And like, I never really liked the heavy shit anymore. See, the problem is you do math all the time. Nanaki thinks you're his best friend, so then you... Okay, I'll shut up. I had this dream I lost recently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can see a little house on the other side of the fence. I wonder who lives there. I don't think it's anyone I know. It is next to me, and my parents are here too. We're all together again, but... Mum, Dad, hey, wake up, please! The truth comes out. What was it? Ephemery. You again. I want to talk to you. You sound like Snufkin. Like the, spec the thing is that about this, the best, the best you get are the hysterical feeling to like get with the bird where you choose the wrong answer at the last minute and they're like you get like rival zones or something like that like focus on uh that's probably funnier like you know than 
anything else in the game and you're very likely to never see them if you're beelining the endings because you know what the right answer is because it's a fairly binary answer it's like do you piss off this character or not piss off the character you know yeah i can save scum it and do all that shit but i'm too lazy so but every i'm not squeezing every bit of dialogue out of this Haha, uh -huh, nap time. Oh, I feel sick. I do not agree with you. Oh, Disappointing. I've been getting a lot of Japanese beers lately as well. Really good uh, Kirin Ichiban. Been trying a lot lately. And some Asahi's. I had a Taiwanese beer recently. I was Shadows. Pretty sure this is no. Like I was saying before, because you're beelining a lot of math stuff and a lot of like hanging out with Kazuaki, you have to make sure that you like refuse every other flag for him to still get shoes ending. That's why it's really hard to get murdered by a clear murderer. Because always, like, the mass teacher's just around like, sup? And it's kind of like... That's the problem. Ugh. Cleaning the classroom too than usual. Uh, I need to hurry to the infirmary. Sorry, I'm moving. Ryuto's here to warn me that I'm clearly planning to get murdered. Yes, I am. Uh, as we literally, like, can put this adjacent to us, our uh, ending with him, it feels especially bad that he's like, I'm really worried about you and I care about you a lot and you're off trying to fuck other birds. <laughs> and, you know, trying to get with this obvious murderer. And it's like, yeah, but no one's come out and said it and I want to see the ending now, so. Oh. I keep you here waiting. Excuse me. Wow. So this is where we murder Yuya for the second time. So we have to throw Yuya under the bus, otherwise Yuya starts to think that we're going with him. And you basically just have to, like, I was in my classroom and watch Yuya get murdered. Shit. <laughs> well done, Miss Tosaka. I'm glad our new assistant is astute. What a pity. It would seem you are somewhat lacking in basic truthfulness. Alone. Yeah, like, was he straight up dead? The fact that we see him and that um, RPG character just get, like, if they go into his room, they just don't come out. And Ryuta's always sick. You know? Sir, well done. Keep up the work. No, I will not keep up the work. You're not my supervisor. Oh. <clears throat> that dream again. 
Ryuta, my parents, and me at a stranger's house. Is Ryuta the canon boyfriend? The strange bird who comes to me is a magician. He says he'll grant me any wish that Ryuta and I make. Feels like he's canon. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But one day. Okay. <laughs> Sound like Barney over here. Oh. Here's my Barney impression. Uh, it's fine now. I can't just go to clean the affair area. Cleaning! Uh, nothing I can do. No. Um, missing students. I heard that sometimes students disappear after coming here. Who told you? No one in particular. Everybody is kind of like a legend. You believe in this bullshit? No. Just for kind of cool if it were true. That's fine. We'll just stop there. That it would be cool if you were to disappear or something like that. Ho, ho, ho. I guess I shouldn't have expected a straight answer. I can tell what he's thinking. He's thinking murder. Uh, family is he? Go running. Azami, Azami, Azami. They really don't want you to skip these. Sorry, Azami. A lot of homework, part-time job, no need for part-time job this time. Forget it. We. I'll go with somebody. Who will I invite? Shoot. What do you want? Wah! It's the doctor. Wah! I don't get this. Why would she? He's just like, is that all I'm going home? <laughs> Sorry. I just hadn't thought you'd actually come. But I didn't have anything better to do, so I decided that even if it was a 0.05% chance, it was still worth trying. <laughs> Yippee. He's a pervert. So yeah, like the hardest person to get with is the perverted murder doctor. <coughs> That's the doctor. Good evening, doctor. Dwang! It's fine. Wait, it's you. Huh? There's mud on his wing. You should go home. I'm going to ask what you're doing. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. I was just walking by. Well, how'd you get money? I fell down. Throwing something away. I was supposing there's some things I no longer needed. Said the clear murderer. 
and our protagonist is too stupid. After going through this timeline 18 times, she can't work out that he's blatantly a fucking creep. She had gone up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today. I'm going to be late. Oh, shit. I can't remember what I have to do here. I'm just going to assume go home. Because if I talk to him, he'll think we're friends. And then the game will think we're friends. And then I'll be giving him corn. Wah. No, I refuse to lend you a hand. Get out of my face. Pretty sure the words glorious abode were in there somewhere. <coughs> oh. That wasn't a nice beer. I should do a beer review. On every episode of everything I put out, I'm just going to talk about beer I drink. And my unpopular opinions thereof. Yep, yep. I feel like this isn't new. Why is with the feathers and why do they only show up sometimes? Wait, 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 stop. Ah, I felt like that was new. Ah, I'm late. I've been slow getting out before, but I've never slept through my alarm like this. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Anyway, gotta go fast, like Sanic. Why am I purple now? Sorry I'm late. Good morning. We were just about to sit down. I expected of a feral. Shut the fuck up, Sakuya. Now, now. Dwang. So where's Hyoku? Isn't she here? Apparently not. I'm dead. No wonder her kind died off. Where are you, Hyoku? Usually you'd be here early, like you were late yesterday, and now this. <clears throat> I think we can start homeroom now. Today we'll do a little review on the history of bird kind. You wait until now to teach out what a pathetic country. Wow. <laughs> of course, everyone learned it years ago, but it's required for the second day of the semester. Back when we birds were still beasts and pets, a virus known as AH5N1 appeared. That's amazing. At first it only affected birds, but underwent a mutation spread to humans. The mutated strain is highly infectious and an extremely high mortality rate. It became clear that it posed a threat to the survival of humans. So humans then did a powerful virus to cull birds and prevent HN5N1. Uh, whatever. Uh, Hindsight seemed foolhardy and rash, but the world leaders at the time saw no better option. Except the new virus didn't work, infected birds didn't die. Their brains grew in size, starting with doves. This is all a spin on the H4N1 bird flu, avian bird flu strain. That's why it does make up the majority of professionally qualified workers today. Other birds, including quails like me, are still adapting to social life. Incidentally, I heard that the first puffin in history to hold a governorship was elected last month. Wow. So there's, like, bird racism, inter-bird racism, where they're like, Haha, this puffin's shit here. He's like the Schwarzenegger of this world. Even kakapos, which are once close to extinction, can now be toilet trained. And as you all know, the Prime Minister of Japan is a shoebill. A terrifying Muppet bird. Anyway, the development of social intelligence in birds had a huge impact on their predators, which leads me to the next point. Since their gambit failed, humans were left defenseless to AH5N1, most died out. A few that are left now live peacefully with birds, though in the past there were large conflicts. That's the bell. We'll vote on student council members in second period to be on time. Kiriko never came. Who, who is this? Oh, we're in Ryota's perspective now. Kawara, do you have a minute? Sure. Just get our print boxes today. Would you mind picking ours up? Print box. Yep. So where did we go? Print box, print box. Inside the office is a stack of copper boxes. There must be the ones. 
This one maybe. I pick up the boss mass too free. It's awfully heavy. I guess paper isn't light when there's much of it. Am I dead? You are okay by yourself. It's a little bit heavier than I expected, but it was fine. Just to make sure everything's there. <laughs> Did you cut your wing, Kawara? Cut my. I don't think so. It's bleeding. Dwang. Scratch myself. No, that is my blood. What is it? Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead and I'm being narrated. I feel sick. But I reach out and open the lid anyway. Inside the box is a human head. Eyes are glassy. You don't like this? I still recognize her. She wasn't late. She was here. I can't. Dead. So the guy that we, that's like the canon childhood love thing, meets your fucking severed head. Look away, Kawara. Looking will only hurt you. Ah! <laughs> Emergency alert, emergency alert. We have entered a state of emergency. All students evacuate to the gym. Cuckoo, what is happening? Why is everything red? I don't know. Bah, until we know what's going on, there's nothing to do but follow instructions. What are you spacing out for, Kawara? Come on! No, I don't want to leave Hyoko alone. Get up, she's fucking dead. <laughs> that thing is no longer Tosaka. It can't be. Calm. Convenient alarm is convenient. Jim was already crowded with student and teachers. No one seems to know what's going on. Jim echoes with whispered speculation. Did you see the box? Yeah, you had that too. Yeah, well, the class wrapped open it and I didn't see. So I was caught up and put in different fucking boxes across the school. Great. It was gross. Probably. As I seem to be the only human. Nobody seems very concerned. Which isn't all that odd. It was grotesque, but it's not like it was a dead bird. Just some primate. Some idiotic disaster drill, isn't it? We're not supposed to have one until next month. Do you suppose that has something to do with the box? That was definitely Tosaka's. Won't someone explain this ridiculous state of affairs already? Yeah, someone tell me what's going on. Someone wake up someone. Is this the true ending or the shoe ending? What the fuck is this bird? Is everyone here? Oh, you're the headmaster. We've never met you before, sir. We have all gathered together without panic and noise. Excellent. There's been a natural disaster outside the school as a designated action, so please remain here a little longer. Natural the weather is clear. Okasan felt no earthquakes. It's not like we're anywhere near a volcano or anything. Jesus. Explanation. Just what? Why does no one care? I'm fucking dead. Does this have something to do with Tosaka? Why have you brought us here? I repeat, there has been a no imbecile. Dead. Erupts in whispered discussion once more. Well, that changed nothing. I still have no idea what's going on. Are you overheard, Kawara? No. Yes. This could prove to be a very bad day. Could prove to be. It already is. San, you're an idiot. Missing. She must have run off. Okasan will look. San, no, she's fucking dead. Much closer to the pigeons of the human era, he doesn't understand the concept of death. Trying to explain would only hurt myself. Headmaster has proven entirely unhelpful. What should we do, Nanaki? Well, we can't carry on with class. I agree with San. Let's go get Hyoko. Calm yourself, Kawara. To relinquish your sanity during a state of emergency is suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. We can't just leave her like that. May I go back to the classroom just once? Principal. Spelt wrong. Did ask us to remain here. Principal, like this, is like as in, I have some principles. Pr as in, like, common decency, etc. Principal is P-A-L, as in, head of. 
But he didn't say we couldn't leave the gym. Common mistake. I saw it in a contract recently. And I work at a school, so yeah. I'm going with you as president and student council. I have a responsibility to get to the bottom. Thanks, security. Do not flatter yourself. I'm not doing this for you. She was foolish, loud, and had no manners or sense, but she never deserved anything like this. By my blood and name is the label, I will find the one who did this. You shall be my assistant. Come. Right. And so I exited the gymnasium in Sakuya's majestic wake. I want to, I want to know what happened to Yoko. Who did that to her and why? Can the evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain anything? My head was a raging whirlpool of questions and no answers. And I did not yet know what we would find. All the parts will be gone. What is this? A wall. A huge grey. What had been a clear autumn sky is now blocked off by dull grey. What? The hell? Almost like the sun has gone down. A dome. It's like that Stephen King thing. Or Simpsons movie. When did they do this and how? Ah! No! Why? Why are you being a bad kitty? I don't think any of us were in full command of his faculties, so we came as we came this way. We can't be certain it wasn't already there. It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we were all in the gymnasium looking at this thing to the headmaster. To say it was a natural disaster, maybe this is some sort of shield. A disaster so destructive there's nothing to be done but hide under an enormous grey blanket and wait. Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic. If that were the case, they would be robbing of us robbing us of our right to know why our lives are in danger. Is this really a shelter? Is there really a disaster? We don't know if there's a connection between what happened to Yoko and all of this. Let's get to the classroom and then tell Mr. Nanaki about the dome thing. Very well. Oh, meow. The other classes left theirs as they were as well. They're at the teacher's desks. Is everybody else planning to stay in the gym? Japan is a country full of fools who have grown lazy through too much peace. I doubt every, anyone else is dead to take it upon themselves to investigate the matter. We're here. The box is still where I left it. Inside is... I can't. Can you? No. Matter. What is this madness? There's nothing here. We left it right there. It's not like it got moved up and moved on its own. Someone came and removed it while we were at the gym, like I said. This is life, not some third-rate mystery novel. I, I question this. Exactly, Sakuya. Yuya! I see you're babysitting this fool. <laughs> Throw my name around like some cheap toy mongrel. How cruel. Well, I can't blame you for being tense given the circumstances. I think you'd act like that regardless of the circumstances, you hear. I'm sorry about her. It pains me to think what happened. His expression clouds. It's strange. I've never seen him with any expression other than carefree cheerfulness before. You'd known her for a long time, right? Yes. Do you know something about all this, Yuya? Most of business is a mystery to me, but I can at least answer the question we face right now. The whereabouts of the corpse. Yeah, that. <laughs> As you said, this isn't some third-rate mystery novel. Corpses don't disappear, and we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. The other infirmary assistants and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. What for? For one, well, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school, it's only for the if only for the mental health of the students. Secondly, for the autopsy. As you know, we have two things going on at once here. The only human in the school was cut up and distributed to the rest of the school, and now there's some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you, it's a mystery. I suspect that we will have an easy time investigating the murder as long as we're sealed in like this, though. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy by now. It feels like Dangan Romper. The doctor, why me? Why him? 
You don't trust him? Of course not. I don't want to think what you might do to her. You might even have you suspect the doctor. Yes, everybody knows he's nuts. He probably killed her for an experiment. He's an expert in the field. Who else here can perform the autopsy, but I know where you're coming from, Yoto. He's not exactly the most ethically minded bird around. That's why I asked Nanaki to come too. He should be there by now if you want to go make sure. We'll go later, even though I'm really panicky. Don't like this sentence. <laughs> um, we know where the corpse went then, but why are you here? Me, I'm investigating under my own orders. Playing detective mongrel. That and I have to make sure we didn't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you going to do now? Personally, I think the murder and the evacuation was certainly connected. I'm inclined to agree. The headmaster's refusal to explain our situation makes me doubt his story in its entirety. Indeed, so Ryuta, yeah. I know how you feel. You want to find the one who did this to you as soon as possible, right? Yes. I have no idea where this is going. Kyoko. Gone for a moment and suddenly she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them and I'll... I'm going to find the culprit and I'll... I've never felt this emotion before and now I feel nothing else. When I find that bird, I'll... Ellipses him. My fault's exactly. The school is a mess and we won't find anything by chasing after a shadow. I think we should try to solve both mysteries at once. Possible, of course, the wall could just be there because of some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. We didn't need your advice from the start. You're nothing but a talk anyway, mongrel. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best to help. <laughs> oh, one other thing. You might want to talk to one only in the maintenance of the time I sent you. You mean the antisocial cockatiel dandy everybody hates? Yes, him. Don't worry, he's a good guy. He'll be able to help you and you might find something useful. That's it for the talky mongrel. Adieu. Goes to the staircase. What a dreadfully obnoxious non-man. I thought he'd never shut up. He gave us some good advice. We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we'll find anything else here. Indeed. Where should we head next? I doubt we would go amiss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or by investigating the wall outside. Right. It doesn't give me a choice, so... Uh, <laughs> you should be nice to your family. My family? Did you mock me? No relation to me. Well, calm down. Round four. Excuse us. Doesn't look very educational. The handyman pretty much lives in here, I think. A dove. And one more. Hello. What are you doing here? Don't you hear the alarm? This is, these are our names. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? No panic, no noise, and no leaving. That's what I do here. Somehow he seems really cool. You mean you're too lazy to go to the gym? Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find the bus. No, we're not. Do you mean to interfere with us, wretched fool? Hmm. You said we should ask for your help. Yes. He came all the way over here. Do you intend to stop us now? Where the heck are your manners? Sorry. We transferred from overseas and the Japanese is great. Sydney has more bike than I met. Bark than I imagine he has bike. Very well come in. What did you say, you gentlemen, were investigating? Two things. The murder of Tosaka Hiyoko and the mysterious wall. You've been in here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I got an idea from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words, you know only what you have heard from that mongrel. Useless. I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know about the big grey wall outside. No. Useless, wretch! 
Thank you. Calm down. I'm not sure there's anything we can learn right now. Oh, wait. Can I use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on inside. Sadly, not everything's been cut off since this morning. Even the telephone wires, eh? This is too far. I don't think of any reason why they need to cut communication systems off if it was some kind of storm protection. Wild goose chase, complete waste of time. Let us go. I have a bright and massive piece of advice for you. Bright and massive. What? Get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in a school, but never there. You might be able to find something out about the wall if you check there. He did not speak to us in person in the gym. If he was broadcasting from his office, then he might still be there. Asking him certainly seems like the best way to get solid information. We should try. If you need a break later on, feel free to come back here and rest. Anyone, Mr. Sussex, that is trustworthy, I'll get you some notes. If you find anything, you can write it down. You never know what could happen in the situation, and you don't want to forget. Thank you. We'll come back later. For now, check the lab on the wall. After these two, we can try the headmaster's office. Go to the lab. Excuse us. It's always been one of the gloomy parts of school, but today the lab is depressing. Hello, Kawara. Thank you for being with the Yoko now. Of course, you came and asked me to come right after you two left the gym. Mr. Gone past us, how unfortunate. Doctor is lining up pieces of the Yoko on lab benches. Must you glare at me, so, Mr. Kawara? I'm not glaring at you. Did you disapprove of my handling her? She gives me an evil smile. That's not it. I just wish we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. Are you finding anything, Doctor? Who? I mean, not yet, no. I only just finished assembling that. It will take some time. I'll send word to you when I've finished. Perhaps you have something else to do while you wait. Very well, we shall not interfere. Come Kawara, right. This is weird. I don't like this. Mr. Kawara, a moment, please. Yes? Mm. Allow me to give you a hint. A hint? You suspect me of foul play, do you not? In light of that, I shall leave it up to you to whether to, to decide to believe me or not. I think you missed something very important. One might say you've forgotten something. Perhaps you should bear that in mind. You're a little bit off, but I'm sure you'll find the answer yourself if you keep looking. Isn't it beautiful, Mr. Parra, the sound of your life crumbling apart <laughs> around you? Wow. I take it it does not sweet your tastes. I take it, it does not sweet your tastes. Very well. He was rather fond of the unusual himself. A pity. He? You can handle the outside investigation, I the internal. Ho, ho, ho. Good luck, Mr. Kawara. Thanks, Doctor. Thanks, man. <laughs> He's definitely enjoying himself. What a psycho. I'm pretty sure this is actually the other ending, and we're still not getting the Doctor ending. What did he mean when I was missing something? Or maybe he was just trying to lead me astray. Better not worry for the time being. This is very long. <laughs> very long. It's been nearly an hour. What, what are you talking about with Kawara, Doctor? Nothing. Just giving him emotional support. I don't think so. I see. That's good. I'm sure you'll remember not to cause any trouble for my students. We step outside, the Grey Dome remains. Yeah. Let's go get a closer look. We can't see much from over here. Indeed, they can fly. Iron, maybe, is quite firm. Maybe it's some sort of shelter. But my phone's out of range. Maybe this wall is blocking the signal. That seems likely. Sounds thick and dense. Trying to break a hole in it will not be practical. Maybe there's an emergency exit we should check. We still don't know whether or not we are completely sealed in. Right, let's walk around the perimeter. Doesn't look like there are any doors. This is very weird. It appears to be identical all the way around. Do you suppose it's ventilated? I can't say I fancy the prospect of suffocating under this thing without even knowing why it's here. I'd think an emergency shelter would have some sort of airflow built in, yeah. Not then we're in trouble. Hmm. 
are you looking at? Up there, is there some sort of hatchway? He points upwards. Ah! Ah! About 20 meters up, there's a joint or something of different color. That does look like it might lead outside. Let's go look. I don't see any sort of latch. Can we open it by hand? There's a switch or something somewhere. It does not seem like we can do anything here now. Let us remember its location and return later. I don't like to think about it, but it really is such a terrible disaster out there then that this is the only option. Maybe it would be better to leave it shut anyway. Indeed, let us move on. Huh. <laughs> we still don't know what's going on outside. I've got enough on my mind just thinking about Hyoko, but I'm worried about my family. I hope my mum's okay. Which first stage of investigation now? But a better idea of the situation, I guess. Yeah, we can make use of the bit, as the one did say. He, he suggested we visit the headmaster's office. It was on the first floor. Let's go. This is crazy long. And crazy weird. Headmaster, are you within? We demand entry. Read him into the headmaster. I wonder if the doctor is the only person in the entire school who he actually respects. I didn't even get that he respected the doctor, but fine. Let's go in. Wait, secure this. Um, locked. Where is the old man? Pretending to be out, so we go in. Indeed, he was never the type to walk about the campus, or perhaps he was locked in the door. He was a creepy looking as well. Um, new times such frivolities. We shall enter this room if it means reducing the door to a miserable pile of splinters. The headmaster's door, I don't think it would be easy to break down. To speak the truth, let us ask Nanaki if there isn't a key to open it from the outside. We can head back to the... Dead. Gwang! What is it, Kawara? I think... I thought I heard something. I hear nothing. You're imagining. There's something being dragged across the floor. Listen, there it is again behind. Gwang! Ugh. Creppy. Big creps. Scarecrow is here. Hello, Scarecrow. Uh -huh. Ah. Suddenly behind us stood a gigantic scarecrow-like creature with a rough burlap sack for a head. The fuck is this? What the hell? That was just first class. I want to go to bed and this creepy pasta shit's happening. Okay. Underlay. What in? The scarecrow man draws closer, dragging its large, ungainly metallic arm behind it. Watch out. Slash! His arm slices through the air, smashing the window into tiny shards which scatter across the hallway floor. We don't know what it is, but apparently it isn't friendly. Security, we have to run. I am well aware. <laughs> Fair. Pant pant. Did we lose it? I think so. It moves so slowly. What was it? That's a good point. No one could devise a prank as bizarre. As bizarre that it looked like a biped. It was humanoid, but I don't think it was a human. I've never heard of a human made of metal and burlap. I murdered the dome, and now this shit. I know, I know not who is behind these trickeries, but they must have a death wish to mock me. So, for now, we have to get back to the lab. You need to warn Mr. Nanakis. Welcome back. Would you like some tea? This is, is really the time. We cannot afford to relax now. So I take it nothing happened. The headmaster, he must have been hiding from the scarecrow, is smashed the window. Calm yourself, Kawara, you become incoherent. Sorry. 
We were attacked by a gigantic creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance. A scarecrow, yes. Like the ones humans used to make. It attacked us and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was heavy and dangerous. Are the other students still in the gymnasium? Probably not all of them. If there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell everybody to stay together in the gym. Yeah. The plot thickens. Not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, it now seems we must contend with the new guest. I wonder what the Scarecrow's Man connection to all of this is. A Scarecrow Man, you say? Doctor. Fascinating. I've never cut into one of those. I'd love to get my hands on it. Ho ho ho. Have you finished your autopsy? Yes, for now. I was awake here the whole time, don't worry. Thank you, Mr. Nanaki. You two may well have a right to know what I found given your efforts toward the investigation. I shall try to state briefly and simply, simply and briefly, what I've learned from the lumps of meat which were once missed to Saka. We try yourself, Kawara. Pulling out among ourselves would only do us harm. I know. Anyway, we lacked the tools for a proper examination, but the cause of death was asphyxiation. There were no signs of any strangulation or smothering, so she was either poisoned or sick. She was dismembered after death then, Doctor. It would appear so. There is little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut up some time after death. One of the healthiest people I know, she couldn't have become sick that quickly, meaning someone poisoned her. Why? For the sake of the grotesque, or to make her easier to carry, or for some other reason. Disgusting either way. I suppose I should also tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but I believe that Miss Saka died yesterday after school. In the evening, precisely. And she was found this morning. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Her house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday, after school? Um, no, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I went straight home. That's right, I went home alone. It's too late to regret it now, but if, maybe if I just asked her to walk home with me. Perhaps we should ask any of the students with whom she was close. Going out again. Be careful, it sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. Don't worry. You can now run the scarecrow if it shows up again. This is getting weird. Uh, I went home early yesterday too. I left as soon as class ended, so I only know what Ryota has told me. I wish I had some useful information, but I wish I hadn't skipped that conversation. I was in the infirmary right up until I returned home. As usual, I know nothing of what happened in the rest of the school. So neither Mr. Nanaki's nor Dr. Iwamini saw Ryoto yesterday afternoon. Alright, could we ask you a favor? We think he might be hiding. Spare key, could we use it? A spare key? Should be one of uh, us, but thank you, sir. We'll be back soon. Careful out there. You too, sir. Kawara is a strange boy. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. It was him. No, it wasn't. We won't be able to talk to Headmaster until we have the key. Let us work on the murder case. We should ask everybody who they were. Doctor said he was in the infirmary. I wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself to face the suspicions, Kawara. Yeah, I know. I think you maybe you trust him a little too easily, Sukiya. He's a world authority. That doesn't mean he's honest. You know nothing what that means. The, heads of, the head of the LaBelle family, my father, was once crippled with chronic illness. He was cured by medicines developed by that doctor. He makes medicine. Save the sleep talk for your dreams. Have you no idea what contributions he's made to the medical world? I didn't know. I thought you, he was some kind of mad scientist cooking up nothing but death and all around woe. You have become biased by the foolish rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. The LaBelle family is indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he's polite. Doesn't that make him biased? Anyway, let's go. Very well. Go to... Maintenance office? I don't know what the right answer is here. We go to everything anyway. Mr. Thing, you two, come in. How does it go? Went to the office. It was locked. We got attacked by a weird thing. I'm glad you're okay. The office is far from. Was that thing a muddy scarecrow-like man, perhaps? Yuya, you've seen it too. Just now, yeah, on the second floor. 
a glimpse of it from behind the other end of the corridor and it didn't stick around to let it see me, so alas, I was not less with a look at his pretty face. Coward. We ran away as soon as we saw it too. It sounds like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave. Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. You two aren't planning to call off your investigation because of bad guy or true either. Yeah, that's true. Already stuck in the rut of unadaptable middle age. Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. What a dick. I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I will be fine. I wonder what kind of death comes that close to a maintenance worker. Then again, knowing the school could be all kinds of evil. Uh, while you're standing around, I believe orders were given for everyone to get around the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you huddled over there? Uh, I can't just sit around. Same here. Hence walking around the school. On the other note, they go to the lab. Nanaki. What for? Something you asked him to do. Wow. He wants you to help. He wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Iwamimi's. Most likely the doctor and Hyoko, that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over there, so don't worry. Right. Wait. Comes back. According to the autopsy, Tosaka died after school yesterday. Or did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening, her. What did the doctor say? Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. I was there too. We were inspecting and cleaning all day. Da -da -da -da. I told you not to doubt him about evidence, Kawara. Alright. Prime right, suspect is that scarecrow. <laughs> what? That's everything? Well, adieu. How is the scarecrow gonna go to asphyxiate this person? We should head out too, but first let's write down what we found. Alright, let's go. Students in the gym have grown restless since the evacuation. No explanation. Uh, there's a suspicious individual. I guess even doves lose their cool. San, where are you? He is alive and well so far. Leaving Okasan behind and going outside is not fair. You just confuse the issue if we brought you along. We came back because we had a question for you. Come at me, whippersnapper. That's not what I usually practice on the ground after school, right? So Okasan's duty. Did you see Hiyoko? No, did not see her or as he was going home. Can we really be sure that he would have noticed her even if he had been there, if she had been there while he was running? Good point. Do not look down on his visual memory. If you ask Okusan about the bloodstained interloper he saw, then he would have had something to say. What? What? Why wouldn't you just say that? Do not look down on his visual memory. After that. There was a bird unknown to Okasan. Is that that angle guy again? Some bird who San doesn't know. Could it have been someone from outside the school? It's past noon, let us hurry onwards. How can you tell? Oh, I guess they have bird watches. So we walked around the school searching for clues of Hyoko and the mysterious bloodstained stranger. We were lucky enough to avoid encountering the scarecrow, but we didn't find any information. Where to now? Mana key has probably got the key. Let us return to the lab. Okay. Dots. Huh. What is it? Did you say something just now? I did not. Could it be that scarecrow? No, it's not him. I thought I heard somebody say something. Don't scare me. Walk around half the day. It's hardly surprising that your mind should be playing tricks. This is Sparta, the library. I know, put the alarm. Let's check. Very well. Library is the same as always empty. It's a little gloomier than usual. They're going to meet Nageki and he's going to be like, Sup, I didn't see shit. I guess there's no one here. Pull yourself together. I know he's for subordinates who lose hold of the sanity. He says, when am I your subordinate? Uh, <laughs> head back to the lab. 
ellipses, something, something bad happened. I should have known what would happen after this. If it hadn't been for me, none of it would have happened at all. What was I trying to do here? What did I see? Why can't I remember? Dots, dots. I can't hear. What are you saying? You're fading away. It's too far. Mr. Saka. Because ghosts. Mr. Nanaki, welcome back. Have you found anything interesting? Another suspicious individual. But we should speak with the headmaster first. Have you gotten the key? Yes, I have. Thank you, sir. Well, let's have a look. The doctor and I will be here. Be careful. Adieu. Clear left. Scarecrow right. Clear right. Scarecrow ahead. It doesn't look like the scarecrow is here. That's good. If I had to fly away from something like that, I might panic and hit the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, Quail's reflex when startled is to fly straight up. Why should I hear it dragging its arm when it moves to will Oh, we should. Not why should. I'm playing time to get away. Let's go in. Alright, right, let's see. Gathered us at all the gym without. How many of our questions will we be able to ask? He's dead. Excuse us. <laughs> There's the dog. Dwang. Maybe he's not here. Hmm. Battle hiding. There's some birdie at the desk. He's sitting with his back to us, but his feathers are laying on unmistakable green of a Nico bar. Is that the. That's the guy, right? The master, you've gone deaf. So cute, be polite. Japan is a country of courtesy. Oh, mind that we have to come. He's dead. Headmaster, were you the. this. Sukuya. Dead. Dead. Dwang. That thing here is no longer the headmaster. He's half cloud. Cloud, 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 cloudy. He's also dead. He's pallid. Madness. Him too. Dead. Second class end. Ah. Uh. It just went, did it? Oh, what the fuck was that? Am I missing shit? Because I'm impatient.